Hey, it's Yusuf here. Today we are looking at this product from Sony ZV-E10 and friends at b &H has loaned me this device to kind of test it out as well as make a video about it. So we're gonna do that. And it is not necessarily a new camera. However, I wanted to kind of compare it against my existing camera, Canon N50, which is the one that you are seeing me through as well as the top-down view shot, Canon M6 Mark II. And it is supposedly good at vlogging. And I wanted to also see its capabilities for studio shots like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this camera first. And after that, I'm gonna compare it to both of these cameras that I have. So first we got the Sony logo up here and then ZV-E10 and then Alpha. And here it says ZV-E10, ZV-E10L. I don't know what that L stands for. And then this is a lens spec, which is a kit lens, E-mount, and then it is 16 to 50 mil and F3.5 to 5.6 OSS. So it does have an optical stabilization. And as it is noted, it is an E-mount. So those are the things that we can kind of expect out of this package, the camera and the lens. So first opening the box, we've got the manual in different languages and also the top it opens like that and we've got the camera over here and a couple of accessories this is the wind muff for the microphone the onboard microphone that is on here which is supposedly pretty good one and here is a power cable for a charger and then the brick for the usb connection and then here is the battery for the camera it's not a big one and then we've got a USB cable that is going from type A to type C and here is the camera strap with the Sony logo on it I don't think I'm gonna be using that so I'm gonna put these things back in and because the camera is supposedly charging with USB type C I don't think I need designated chargers for it so I'm gonna keep it in here and try to use my existing chargers because I have a lot of those available and if it charges well then it is definitely a good feature for me to utilize but we should still take out the camera to test it out right so we've got the camera over here it is actually quite small it is I think comparable to the cameras that I have, but it is actually quite light as well. So it handles pretty well. I do really like small and compact devices. So as far as the first impression goes in terms of the overall handling and size, pretty good. So we have pulled out a couple of things out of the box. So we can certainly assemble that. And here is a microphone. So you can certainly just push that in and here and then do the wind muff for the microphone. I don't think I'll need it for indoor usage, so I'm gonna take it out, but I do need the battery. So let me go ahead and open the battery compartment and then insert that in there. I will definitely need an SD card, so let me actually do that. So that's in there, and let's see if it has any juice. So it doesn't seem to turn on just because I haven't charged it up yet. And let's just kind of check out what the camera looks like. We've got the big panel articulating screen back here, which you can rotate and then have as a selfie mode. And then we've got the mentioned microphone up here, which is quite big in comparison to some other cameras that we are used to. It is omnidirectional, so it is gonna pick up sound from all direction, but supposedly it is a better microphone than a lot of inbuilt camera microphones. And here is a power button, as well as a button for switching modes. And then here is a record button, and then the C1 button, as well as blurring out background for your easy control. And then here is a dial, that has a little tactile feel to it so that you know what kind of increment you're rolling it through as well as the automatic zooming on the shutter button as well as the shutter button down here and then there is a grip up here as well as a button for releasing the lens 
press it down and turn it to expose the sensor. And then again, this is a kit lens that comes included with this box. And then you've got the focusing ring over here as well as the lens cap. And then here is also the additional zoom control if you would like to use that. And in terms of the lens spec, it is an E mount and then it is F3.5 to 5.6 depending on your zoom level. And then it is 16 to 50 mil, and it does have optical stabilization, which is something that I'm interested in because the camera body itself does not have a physical stabilization feature. So it is going to purely rely on the lens, which is a similar story to the Canon camera that I have. I am expecting about the similar level of stabilization that I get out of this camera. And then onto the side, nothing on here other than the strap ring here. And then another one on this side. And then we've got the door for the microphone. And then another door for USB type C port. And then micro HDMI port. Micro HDMI is not so good in my opinion because it is too small and very flimsy. And I have broken a couple of those ports before. So I don't like that. However, I don't really use micro HDMI or any HDMI my connection to my camera in my current workflow so I don't really care for that however I do really like the fact that it is USB type C charging as well as connection to the camera it is capable of charging batteries inside of its body so that I can just connect it up to my battery banks as well as all the USB C cables that I have in my travel bag or laptop bag because all of my devices charge with USB C it is so essential especially on out and about type of shots and then I really like the fact that it has a headphone monitoring and then on the back as well as the articulating screen which you can just twist it and close it off to protect the screen which is a nice feature for that as well the menu button the function button and then here's a dial that you can kind of roll around as well as preview button and then a trash button and the mount for the camera is on this side right at the center of the lens so this summarizes the unboxing portion of this camera i'm going to test it out against studio usage as well as some vlogging shots where i do selfie shots and then moving around and shooting different things other than just kind of stand or sit and talk type of video so if you have liked this video please like and consider subscribing to my channel to continue watching these type of videos thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye